everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to another pack opening video. This time, it is for the Anarchist Alliance packs, and they've changed them again, which we'll go into in just a moment. But first, the winners of the last pack video. So, like I said, I actually post your character name server, whether you're Republic or Empire, in the comments, and I can now reveal that the winners of a super crate for this shipment is Dinjik from the Progenitor, Walking Death, which is meant to be Walking Death I imagine, from the Red Eclipse server, and Polish the Pearl, weird name, uh, from the Beggarin Co Be Colony server. Ugh, what was I trying to say there? So congratulations to all of you, you have won yourselves a super crate of this pack. Yeah. And of course, if you would like a chance to win the same, I think think you know what you gotta do already it's post your character name your server and when your server the server yeah server and whether you're a republic or empire in the comments below by the next pack video which will probably be i'd say patch 4.2 yeah um, I, well, I imagine that's what chapter 11 is going to bring i imagine chapter 11 is going to be 4.2 which will be next month i imagine so there we go so what have they changed this time? Well, th they had a period of time where they brought back the bronze, silver, and gold packs. But now, they've gotten rid of those. For good, I imagine. And they've now put chance cubes in the anarchist packs. Which are basically cubes which could give you anything. Absolutely anything from any shipment, including this one. So I could be looking at stuff I've already got. So, what I'm now going to do, because of course there are other things as well as those chance cubes in these packs, what I'm going to do now, if there, if these chance cubes are going to be in future packs as well, is I'm going to leave the chance cubes until the end. So, I'm going to show you the stuff I get in the packs, so that you can watch all of that, all the new stuff, I imagine the new stuff that I'll get, and then... If you want to carry on watching the video, I'll open up all the chance cubes, which bear in mind could, could could still contain stuff from the anarchist packs as well, and stuff which I haven't got in previous packs. Who knows? Um, but of course, the only problem is I could be treading on old ground. I could be showing you content I've already had before. So that's why I'm going to leave that to the end, so that you can look at all the new stuff. And then, if you want to look at the stuff I may get, and all the new stuff and all the old stuff I may get, then you could stick around and watch that as well. That's the way I'm going to structure these pack videos. If that is what is going to be happening with the chance cubes from now on. Because they keep changing their minds on what they're going to do. Uh, right, so anyway, let us open this pack. And I get all 30. All 30. How lovely. Right, and shall we begin? I think we shall. So, so yes, uh, right click to open this Anarchist pack. This contains four items. Two armor loot, bo loot boxes, mounts or vehicles, weapons, crystals, stronghold deck decorations, a droid companion or a grand chance cube, one companion gift, and one scrap ma material. So there we go. And the first pack contains chance cube already. So there we go. <laughs> Apparently there's a possible chance you could get two chance cubes in one pack. So yeah. Uh, we got the Muja Fruit, the Jawa Junk. I'm glad I got that because I need it for the C2N2 weekly. And the Advanced Desert, des Desert? Desert Green. Ooh, Desert. It was pancake day yesterday, mm, but I didn't eat any pancakes. Tell a lie, I ate some American pancakes when I went out for um, a big breakfast in a restaurant. Um, so there we go. Uh, so yes, the indestructible crystal, which is like a greenish kind of colour. Ooh, it's pretty much like, um, is that Qui-Gon Jinn's sort of colour, lightsaber? Yes, that's, that's his sort of green. There is an amazing lightsaber. An amazing lightsaber in this pack in these packs that I really, really hope I get, because if I do, Kranatoka's having them. But I guess we'll find out. So the next pack contains... An, oh, no chance cube this time. Uh, same colour crystal, but eviscerating. This one was indestructible. Uh, some scrap, and we have a resting medical tank. Ooh, can that go in my medical bay? I think it can, but let's put it out here anyway. And here it is. It's one of these sort of tanks which you might see standing up usually, but it has like a nice little... Boop, 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 terminal here, which I wish we could interact with, but we can't. But it's a very nice tank. I will definitely put that in my medical bay, which, if you haven't seen already, is over here, I think. Yes. 
I don't know where I'm going to put it, mind you, but I'll find a place. It's got a nice tree as well, because it makes you feel like you're at a hospital. You know how you see like trees and plants around hospitals? Yeah, well I have that. You can sort of wake up from your bed after you've been pretty much near death and be like, Ah, there's a nice tree. Even though it's not a real tree, but hey ho. Uh, 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 oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Bear with me a moment, because I pressed the wrong button, and when I take my finger off this button, it's going to get rid of the game. I was wrong. No, I pressed the Windows key, which usually just brings down the game and ruins up my recording, but that didn't happen. Uh, so the next pack contains... Oh, he's cheering towards it. Uh, another Grand Chance Cube. Again, we'll look at those at the end. Some more scrap, and a Cyper Lamp Muvor. It's a Mew! That's so rare. Uh, no. Uh, hello, you. Hello. What, what have we got on your back? Have they implanted you? Have they implanted a stick in your butt? How dare they do that? But it's still cute nonetheless. Oh, look at him running. Oh. It'd be nice if they could actually just run around by themselves. You know, yeah, they could sort of follow you, but it'd just be nice if they could just maybe circle me or something like that. Just pet our pets rather than just follow you. Because pets are kind of useless when you think about it. Just, they're just there to... I don't know, look cute. I haven't, seen, I haven't heard it roar yet or anything. You gonna roar? No? Alright. Uh, the next pack, my throat is clogging up, contains another Grand Chance Cube. Uh, this contains the leggings of... There's a cool Knight Captain's lower body armor. Uh, what else did we get? We got, I think, Spiced Arak Tongue. We got Arak's Tongue, pretty much. Um, right, so let's take a look at these two. Ah, you do roar. Yes, they're cute. Uh, and here we go. So these are... Ooh, I like the trousers. I don't know about the boots, but I like the trousers. I don't know if they the colour works together, though. But that is quite nice. That is very nice. Um, I don't know who I would give the trousers to. I might give the trousers to my smuggler or something like that. That's a lie, because the amount of times I say I'm going to give my character something and I never do. So there we go. The next pack contains... Uh, another cube, put that there, a Zakulin information terminal, and it's, it's a light? It's a light? What? Zakulin inf- Oh, it's one of those! Oh, okay, oh my god! That is massive! Whoa! That is amazing! That is absolutely amazing! I could possibly put that around here or something, I mean, I got those there. But that, look at that. That is fantastic. I haven't seen that in the game yet. Or have I? I don't know if that's in chapter 10 or not. Maybe it is. Maybe it's located somewhere in the cool that I've just not spotted. But look at that. Absolutely amazing. That's, that's really good. I'm, I'm really glad that. Although it pretty much nearly touched the floor. So I'll have to put it higher up somewhere. Don't know where. I think we'll get rid of it for now. Because it's kind of going to block the view a little bit. And I need to get my light back up anyway, so that it lights up the entire area. There we go, Revenant Chandelier, so now we have lighting! Yay! Alright, yeah, Pet, I'm actually going to get rid of you, because you're being quite disruptive right now. So, I forgot what you're called, but I'm just waiting for the thing to light up. You're not on here. Um, what are you called again? You're the Cyberlamp. Bye, Cyberlamp. The next pack contains... The two Grants... Grand chance. See, it can happen. You can get two cubes. Just like I did there. Um, but again, we'll look at those at the end. I keep telling you that because we will look at those at the end. The next pack contains uh, another cube and another one of the crystals. So I'll put that there. How many cubes will I have by the end? I have no idea. Probably too many. And I also got some droid parts as well. So that's quite nice. The next pack and take. It feels like we are just bombing it through this pack video. It, it, it kind of is when you think about it, but <laughs> I don't know. It just feels different this time. Uh, some armor maintenance. And another lightsaber. Am I, get, am I able to get the power one yet? Still no power. Not going to give me the power one. Mm. And the armor maintenance, which Scorpio will love. The next pack contains another cube. Put you over there. And a Rackle research table. Ooh. Now I could put Dr. Lokin. Um, buy this if I ever get him on this character, which I need to actually get, um, 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 Kaizen, yeah, that's the, that's the person I was thinking about, before I can even get Dr. Loken, I think, I think that's the way they structured it, because yeah, I'm an idiot, um, right, cause, uh, trying to do Dr. Loken's one is quite difficult for me, I know there's simpler ways, but I just, uh, <laughs> ooh, 
That's a nice. That is nice. The carbonated people, which I'll probably try and get from the Bounty Broker Association at one point, but not right now. Um, what was I looking for? Um, the Radical Research Table. Where's that? I have no idea. Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah. So there is a dead rat ghoul on a table. Okay. I mean, if you want to have like a mad science lab, then you go right ahead. But I'm not sure where I'm going to put something like that. People just walk in, they'll just be like, uh, oh, there's, there's a rat ghoul on a table, just like I did right now. That caught me, <laughs> that caught me by surprise a little bit. But anyway, the next pack contains another cube, and we've got some more armor as well. The Squadron Aces Supplementary Body Armor, which we'll take a look at. That, that, and that. What kind of helmet is that? I have no idea, but if that's your thing, then that's your thing. Um, that's, that's a weird pouch. That's like a crotch pouch. That's a little bit interesting, and of course the braces as well. But yeah, I'm a bit intrigued by the crotch. <laughs> look at that. That's just. I'm making you look at the crotch right now because I'm making you look at these little pads, whatever they are. But hey, the next pack contains uh, another cube, and we've got ourselves a mount as well the Wilderness Resupply Uxie Beast. Does it come with a flourish? No, it doesn't, but I'll take a look at the Uxy Beast. And here it is! Just pretty much armoured and has a bunch of supplies on it. Whee! It's like a ram. It's like a battering ram. I can just... It'd be cool if I could actually ram into this and this just shatters. It'd be absolutely cool. Well, there we go! Here is the Uxy Beast. Is it Yuxy Beast or Uxy Beast? I say Yuxy... Well, I, say, I, kind of, I kind of swap between the two. I say Uxy Beast, but then I say Yuxy Beast. Which one is it, people? Please tell me. The next pack contains uh, another cube. I think we have the same amount of cubes as packs that, that we have opened. That's quite interesting. I just completely ignored what we got. Uh, oh, there's a cool knight captain's upper body armor this time. Ooh. Alrighty then. Let us take a look at those two. Oh, that's quite nice. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? It's like a very pure white. It just works well. Let's get the um, lower body armor as well, wherever I've put that. Where have I put it? Let's get upper body armor. Let's squash it. Where's that? Where the hell have I put it? Oh, it's the oh, I took them out. I took them out of their box, which I shouldn't have done, but I did. So there we go. There's there's those. Wow, that is quite nice. That just doesn't have the belt, the helmet, or the braces. But apart from that, that's actually quite nice. That is a very nice armor. Who I'd give that to? I have no idea, but maybe I will in the future. The next pack contains uh, another cube, a medical facility, which is a structure. It's a centerpiece as well. Okay. Um, well, I, I guess I'll go to my centerpiece hook then. Actually, I don't know why I'm going to that one, because there's a hook outside, which is a lot better to see than back there. I don't know why I'm going that way. Centerpiece, centerpiece, centerpiece! Right, medical facility. Uh, and there it is! Oh, wow! So it's like... proper... just an out... just a facility. I wish you could go inside! Oh, I want to go inside! Oh, you didn't... you couldn't be bothered to structure the inside bioware. Oh, well there it is, in all its glory. It's like a little facility which you can just place it, that would actually work well on like a uh, on your Yavin 4 stronghold where you can just place it just there. It's just there. The next pack contains uh, another cube, another lower body armor for the Zukulan Knight Captain's armor, and I think that's it for that one. I think I should probably have the chat up just so I can take a look at what I've not looked at. And of course, yes, some droid parts as well. I always appreciate it when I get the droid parts as well because I mean I have a lot. Mind you, I mean, if you were to look into my cargo hold, which, by the way, I need to actually sort out my cargo hold again, um, and I'm not going to do another one of those giveaways where I'm going to let, let give away a bunch of stuff. I, that, that was a one-time only thing. Uh, now I'll sell stuff. Um, but yeah, I've got a bunch of droid parts and scrap. It's just the Jawa junk I need. 
So I need a lot more Jarrah Junk. So I really hope I can get a lot of that. Um, I'm not really a crafter. I mean, I craft to the point where I actually... Oh, wait, of course they've done fight... Oh, yeah, of course they've done the thing now. They've raised the cap now. I'll, I'll do it to raise the cap. Have they added achievements? <gasps> I'll go look at that. Have they added achievements? Please say they have. Bioware! Why don't you add achievements? Oh, why don't you add achievements for it? Please. You didn't do it for the levels either. Why? I That's, that's the only reason why I like to level up my other characters is so that I can get the leveling achievements but that's that's like the only thing that would push me through playing Kotfi like eight times apart from that I don't really want to play Kotfi ten uh, eight times or however many times you might want to play it so I'd appreciate it by the way if you could add those sort of achievements the same with crafting that's the only reason why I want to level up crafting is so I can get the achievements so yeah please by the way thank you uh, the next pack contains two more cubes, more, another Arak Tongue, and some more scavenged Scrap. We have got a lot to open later on. <laughs> uh, yeah, here's the actual description for the Grand Chance Cube. Test your luck against the Grand Chance Cube to win an item selected from the sweep of all Cartel Market releases. Contains one item drawn from armor, mounts, decorations, color crystals, emotes, pets, titles, toys, weapons, and companion customizations. Bear in mind as well, I think they said as well, if you get armor, you get the full set. You don't just get part set, you get the full set. Which is nice. That's a nice addition. Uh, the next pack contains two more, oh my god, two more Grand Chance Cubes. I am going to have a lot to open later on. Seriously, a lot to open. Uh, oh, I got a Ranker as well. How about that? The Swamp Ranker. A lot of these don't even have a flourish. But never mind, let's take a look at this Ranker. Whoa, okay. This Ranker's kind of been a little uh, deformed. I guess the swamp hasn't been kind to this rank. It's got horns as well. Wow. It'd be, it'd be so cool if you could actually pick up your enemy with, with this horn. Like, literally jab them and just pick them up by the horn. Or maybe put, like, little decorations on the horns. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be great? That'd be awesome. Can it even see? Where's its eyes? It can't see. Um. Well, I guess I've just got to guide it. Yeah, so there we go. There is the Swamp Ranker. Absolutely terrifying. Absolutely fantastic. Yes, you could consider it a reskin, but they've done more with this reskin, I'd say. The next pack contains... No cube? What? What? The uh, Insurrectionist Rifle. Um, okay. What? What is What is that meant to be? What? What is, what is, is that just meant to be like... Is that, the crystal? is that meant to be the crystal in there, just spinning around? I have no idea. Well, there's that gun. It's a nice gun. I'll give it that. But, um, it's a bit flat. It's a little bit flat, if you don't mind me saying. And we also got the Squadron Aces Supplementary Body Armor, which we have already looked at. So, the next pack contains... Can I have the lightsaber? It'd be great if I could have the lightsaber. I've got, I've got that, and I've now got the blaster. Can I have the lightsaber for me? What, watch, them give, watch them give me the double-bladed. You watch. Uh, the Insurrectionist Blaster as well. And there we go. It's pretty much just a shorter version of that. A very, very big shorter version of that with like a little flashing dial as well. Yeah, unfortunately, the lightsaber is going to be much cooler. I want to show you the lightsaber. Please let me show you the lightsaber. Otherwise, I may have to actually buy it. Uh, some more Grand Chance Cubes. Unless, of course, I get them in the Grand Chance Cubes, which I highly doubt I will. I mean, it's... Uh, that was me saying in my episode 21. Oh, I'll get the lightsaber. No. No. I guess I won't. Uh, another... Seriously, why am I getting Arik's tongue? I don't want Arik's tongue! Uh, Darth Scotia's lower body armor. Ooh, Darth Scotia. How about that? Ooh, move. Uh, no, I... I, I, I gotta try and keep this centerized. I always gotta try and make this centerized, because it's easier for me when I'm editing. Uh, and that as well. Ooh! They are quite nice. Some little, uh, well, what what are these called? Little claws, yes. Little clawed toes as well. I like the trousers, or the pants, or the greaves. I should say greaves. They're quite nice. I really like those. But anyway, let's come off of that. Please give me the lightsaber. I like so many packs left to go. I'd really could do with the lightsaber. Oh, I've got Star Scotia's upper body armor as well now. How about that? Alright, let's take a look at that. And we might as well look at the lower body armor as well. That, that. And then... Open that up. 
that and that. So there we go. That is Darth Scotia's almost full set. I just don't have the helmet and the belt and the braces. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite nice. The next pack contains still no blood. Oh, there we go. I got the full set now. <laughs> I got Darth Scotia's full set. I got the supplementary body armor, the upper body armor, and the uh, lower body armor as well, which we'll take a look at all of it right now. Because why not? Darth Scotia's upper body armor. That and that. Does Darth Scotia not have a helmet then? Um, I guess not. I always thought they did. But anyway, not that you can really see the braces. You can probably see the belt. I mean, there's the belt. Uh, but there we go. That's the full set. That is Darth Scotia's full set in all its glory. And I will probably sell it all. Because, I don't know, it's cool and all. But, uh, I don't know. It, I don't like it on Kranitoko. Maybe there's a maybe there's a character of mine I could put it on. But, uh, I don't know. Give me the goddamn lightsaber! Give me it, please. Please give me it. No, I got the R1 H5 astromech droid. I got another astromech droid now to add to my collection. Um, okay, you're like a you're like, you're like a droid that's not even been that's not been finished, or a droid that's just had some severe damage done to you. I don't know, but you're cute nonetheless. All droids are cute. Oh, look at it run after me! Come here. Wee! It's so nice. The next pack contains. I've only got six more before I get to the grand chance cubes. Um, well, I got the wilderness resupply Uxie Beast, so hopefully I can sell that for a lot of money, but probably not. And I've got. Look at all of these cubes. Oh my god. It's far too many cubes. Uh, the next pack contains a Prairie Kaibuck and the Underworld Anarchist's lower body armor. Uh, let's look at the Prairie Kaibuck. I was going to. I'm actually tempted to call it the Prairie Dog. I don't know why. It's not a Prairie Dog, Charlie. And here it is. There's a lot of horns in this pack. Um, why, why does it look like um, Mr. Tumnus from Lion and Witch in the Wardrobe? I know, it reminds me of Mr. Tumnus. How the hell is it able to stand on these two legs? I have no idea. Don't question it! Just don't question it. And it kind of looks like it could be the devil's mount with those horns. It's a, it's a mount from hell, I'd say. Can I please have the lightsaber? Please give me the lightsaber. No? You're not going to give me the lightsaber? No? I haven't looked at the lower body armor. Damn it, I'll look at that in just a second. Um, what else have I got? I got the mercenary slicer supplementary body armor. Uh, which we'll take a look at first. That. Move that over there. That and that. Um, braces are nothing special. The belt, not really anything special. And the helmet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That, that's fine. And we didn't look at the Underworld Anarchus lower body armor as well, which we'll take a look at. God damn it, why do you get in my way? Put that there. And that. Did we have the supplementary body armor as well? Underworld Anarchist, Underworld Anarchist, An Underworld Anarchist. I guess we didn't. I thought we did. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Might, might be thinking about the Squadron Aces. But there we go. They are quite nice. Don't know about that colour. I prefer like a proper red and black, not like a pinkish red and black. But that could work. That could work on something. I like that. Three more packs, and we don't even have the lightsaber that I can't even show you. Never mind, eh? Never mind, we also got another Prairie Kaibuck. The second to last pack contains... Two Grand Chance Cubes. Thanks, I guess. And the last pack contains... Uh, no lightsaber. We've got Darth Scotia's upper body armor again. And another Grand Chance Cubes. So that's it for all the packs themselves. And now, we need to open every single Grand Chance Cubes, which can give me anything absolutely anything hopefully the lightsaber but unfortunately not uh, if I don't get the lightsaber then you can look in the description and it'll take you to the link of what that lightsaber looks like it's pretty much um, 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 Kylo Ren's lightsaber except it doesn't pop out from the sides it just shoots up and it looks like the way his lightsaber looks and it is absolutely awesome and I want it so much so if I don't get it then you can see the link in the description uh, so if you want to be spoiled now look in the description if that is there then clearly I didn't get it from these packs um, but anyway the first grand chance cube contains uh, Cre yeah, Crayers? Who's Crayer? I don't know but I got Crayers full set 
We'll just take a look at now. That, 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 that. And that. Okay. That's, um... Yeah, look at... Actually, yeah, looking at you. You look familiar. You actually do look familiar. I don't know where. You look very familiar. Who is Cray? Why do I get the feeling Cray is someone from Knights of the Old Republic? I don't know. I get, I get that feeling just from looking at that armor set. But there we go. The next cube contains... Uh, the Ickes Flame... Whoa! What kind of mount is this? The Ickes Flame Flower. Fra flare, flare, flare. Yes. Let's look at that then. Whatever the hell this is. Oh, it's just one of these, is it? Oh. Okay. Well, that was um, a bit of a disappointment. It's just one of these. It'd be nice if it could actually be shooting out flames. They're pitiful flames, Bioware. But, no. I get the feeling this is like an old mount I haven't got yet. I mean, that's good. That's what I like about um, these little cubes as well. Is that it can give me stuff I don't own yet. Some mounts I don't have. Some pets I don't have. Some titles I don't have. Some emotes I don't have. And they seem, they seem to have died down on the emotes as well in these packs. They haven't really added as many as I'd like. Uh, as Gus Tuno's customization 3 as well. Which, for, unfortunately, fortunately, sorry, we can actually look at now. Because, of course, we don't actually need Gus to see. Well, there he is. I don't know how he would normally look. He would look, normally look like that. And now he looks like that. He's pretty much just red. Yeah. And, and that's it. He has big arms. Has he always had big arms? I don't know. Because I don't actually have him on the smuggler yet. On my smuggler. So, there we go. The next cube contains... It'd be nice if I could have that uh, lightsaber. But, unfortunately not. Scorpio... Customization 2, which we do actually have Scorpio, so I may actually get her out and show you instead. Operating at maximum efficiency. That's good to hear. Um, although, do I want to um, do I want to equip it? Yeah, let's equip it and see what she looks like. Okay, so she's pretty much gold. Always believe in your soul. She's just gold. Which is nice. It makes her look a little bit more like a um C3PO. A little bit. I know people will be like, how do DARE YOU SAY THAT ABOUT SCORPIO, COMPARING HER TO C-3PO, BUT THE GOLD DOES MAKE HER LOOK LIKE C-3PO, IT LITERALLY DOES, am I, am I THE ONLY ONE THAT THINKS THAT? WE ARE DONE. WE ARE DONE, AREN'T WE? YES WE ARE. UH, THE NEXT CUBE CONTAINS, PLEASE GIVE ME THAT LIGHTSABER, COULD REALLY DO WITH THAT LIGHTSABER, UH, EMOTE SMUGGLER SHUFFLE, WHICH I HAVE ALREADY SHOWN YOU, UM, BUT IF YOU WANT TO SEE IT AGAIN, IT'S THAT, WHY, WHY DID I JUST, WHAT? SMUGGLER, Shuffle. I don't know why I just typed a moat and hope that would work. And there it is. The Smuggler Shuffle. You can probably see it on my previous pack videos. Or not. I don't know if I've shown you it or not. I may have got it before and just not shown you it. Because I, I do buy packs in my own time. I don't always show you what I get in my packs. Um, I, I'll do like one video and then of course I'll buy packs you know, in my own time and just get that stuff. So maybe I've shown you it. Maybe I haven't. But there we go. That's the Smuggler Shuffle. The next cube contains... Uh, title Vice Commandant. Thank you very much. I could do with that title. How lovely. The next cube contains uh, an Imperial banner. Um, I don't really want to. All it pretty, all it, all it really does is just puts down a banner. I don't really want to show you it again because I can sell it for like a thousand credits. Um, yeah, you just put it down and it's got like a hologram of. I think it's got the hologram. Is it that hologram or is it like an Imperial, actual Imperial banner? It just gives you a banner. The uh, uh, Imperial Banner. So there's that. The next pack contains the Iridescent Lizard Bat. Ugh. I don't really want to show you it again. Let's just move on. Uh, look at my previous pack videos for the Lizard Bats. Uh, the Architect as well, which I've already got. The next cube contains... I'm just going to fly through these. Uh, Advanced Black Red Striated Eviscerating Crystal, which is pretty much that. If you've not seen it before, it's pretty much just the same, but my like my purple one, except that. The next cube contains uh, Hawkeye Pink Yellow Crystal. Uh, oh, ooh, I don't like that. I may have shown you that in the past, but I don't like that. That's like a that's like a, a very I don't know. It looks like a mini milk. If anyone has ever had those mini milk ice creams in the UK, it looks like that, but giant. Yeah. Um, anyway, next pack contains uh, T7 customization, which we actually do have T7. Um, but I'll I think I'll just show you it this way. Uh, so this is what T7 would look like. 
And this is what it looks like now. It's just a greyer version of T7. Ah, he's so cute. Not really much difference, though. Uh, the next cube contains... Uh, advanced pink core Hawkeye crystal. Oh, yeah, of course. Looking at it, they've upped the cap to 9,999. So I can actually combine all of my scrap and all of my droid parts to make room in my cargo hold. That's cool. That is really cool. Um, the pink core Hawkeye crystal as well. Okay. That's if you want to have a pink lightsaber, then you can. I certainly don't. The next cube contains uh, a sparring droid. Have I, have I had this before? I don't know. But it's a health regenerate ability, which I've got to show you, unfortunately. Whether it costs a lot and whether it doesn't. You're pretty much just fighting a droid. You got pwned. Oh, and then it heals me as well. Does it heal me or does it shock me? I think it just shocked me. How dare you, droid? How dare you sh shoot at Kranatoko? The next cube contains uh, the Rark, which I've probably shown you before, so look at my previous pack videos. The next cube contains a uh, Temple Chair, which if you haven't seen already, is pretty much just that. It's very basic. So there we go. Decorations I'll probably just show you for like a brief time. Um, and that's it. Hot Shot! Hot I love how I started off American and then... No, I started off British and then I turned American. Hot Shot is the way I'd say it, not Hot Shot. Yes. Anyway, next pack contains two VR8 customization. Wow, that's that's uh that yeah that that is um okay yeah all right that's that's fine okay moving on uh the next cube contains uh two VR8 oh this one. it's the exact same one I got the exact same one. The exact same one. Oh wait, no, it's because I uh, no, it was because I didn't. No, I'm an idiot. I actually just yeah, I closed it before. Yeah, it. I did it again as well. I did it again as well. Oh no, I didn't. There we go. Uh, Katina stools, basic. Why? Right, I've already shown you those before, but again, let's just show you that. Pretty much just those. Ooh, that's weird. the way the way the way they're spinning is kind of weird. Which way are they spinning? They spinning left or they're spinning right? They're, they're spinning right. It's not a very good illusion. If it was a shadow, then it'd be a good illusion. But because they're not, unfortunately not. Uh, One-handed handstand, which is a uh, regen item as well, that I'm unfortunately I have to show you, um, no matter how much it goes for on the GTN. Isn't Granatoko talented? He is so talented. Yes. So, so talented. Oh yeah, of course, that's why the flame happens. It's because, of course, it's uh, stacking up my fury as well, unfortunately. Uh, I say unfortunately. The next cube contains uh, the Range Hunter EE-1 Carbonite Rifle. I don't think I've ever shown you that, to be honest with you. Ooh, what was that weird light? Ooh, there's like a little light above. Um, that's kind of weird. I guess I get the feeling that's a texture glitch, but never mind. Um, and there we go. There's that. It, uh... Flashes, so I hope you don't have epilepsy. The next cube contains uh, the Duster Titan, which I've shown you before. Again, look at my previous pack videos. That's a way to get my views up. Look at my previous pack videos. Mission Veo's full armor set. I think I've shown you parts of Mission Veo's armor, but I don't think I've ever shown you the full set. But now we're going to see it. And there we go. That's a full set. I mean, it, it, if Kranatoko was um, a smuggler might work on him, but unfortunately he's not. So, no. The next pack contains uh, the Amzab Glory. Okay, a mount I haven't got. Lovely. To add to my collection. And there is the Amzab Glory. In all its glory. Ha! That works. Um, but yeah, it's nothing too special. These mounts are, getting, these mounts are pretty basic, so there's not really much to show you with these. Because this is like an older mount. You can tell it's an older mount when it sort of looks basic. You know, it's like the ones which they put the effort into, like the Ranker. You know that's brand new. But the Amzak Glory, eh. The next one contains... Uh, HYG9 Vantage Chamber. I'm getting all the, uh... All the, um... Regens that I, I can't sell because I'm having to show you here and now. But never mind. It's pretty much, um... 
I was going to say, I thought you set my hair on fire then. Blimey. Well, there we go. That was sort of like a haircut thing, I guess. But not really. The next cube contains... Uh, the white and light purple dye module. So, I don't have any armor on. So, I'll actually show you that on the end, at the end when I've actually... Actually, no. Let us show you with... Darth Scotia's armor. Why not? I've got the full set. Let's show you with Darth Scotia's armor. So, this is what Darth Scotia's armor would look like if it was white and light purple. So, pretty much white then. With, like, a tiny bit of purple. Tiny bit of purple. The next cube contains... Sadly, not the lightsaber with the acrid chem lizard, which you can look at in previous videos, I think. I don't know. Go watch them. Give me views. Uh, Galactic Wanderer. He's a galactic wanderer. He roams around, around, around. I don't know why I like that song. Uh, the droid sidecar. Ooh. This is something I've never seen before. Let's look at this. Um, oh, okay. So... Yeah, it's like that. Kranatoka is just relaxing, and the droid is taking him to where he needs to go. I don't know why, it looks very reminiscent to um, Episode 4 when C uh, C3PO is driving the car. I don't know. I kind of imagine Obi Wan in the distance was actually just had his feet up. Or maybe Luke actually. Luke just had his feet up the whole time while uh, C3PO was driving. Because Luke is an ass. We've got three more cubes to go, and no sign of the lightsaber. Which is unfortunate. Advanced blue sign, indigo, walk, heroes, crystal. Which is pretty much the same one I've already got. Which we don't need to see again. Two more cubes to go. Be awesome if I could get the lightsaber. But unfortunately not. The Orlean Scout. Which you can look at previous videos. And the last one contains another white and light purple dye module. <sighs> Do I have enough money for another hyper crate? I don't. But I may actually give myself another hyper crate. Um, not that I can really fit it in my inventory. Because, um, this is my inventory, and if I show you my cargo hold, that's my legacy cargo hold, and if I show you my main cargo hold, yeah, I need to clear out by next pack video. But I got my, I got a month, so I'll do it tomorrow. So anyway, that was the pack video for the, um, Anarchist packs. Um, it'd be nice if I could have got the lightsaber, but I didn't because it is absolutely fantastic. And I'm going to get myself another hyper crate. Hope I get that lightsaber. And if I do, Kratotoko is wielding it! So anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you next time. And a farewell to you.